Hey guys. Okay, so I'm at my favorite coffee shop right now in Philly, and I was gonna try to do this reading before anyone got here, because I talked to one of my closest friends last night, and she is a cancer, and she's like, when are you gonna do the cancer reading? So I am, I woke up this morning with that as my main intention. So I'm in a public space right now. I usually don't do this, but um, I needed my coffee, so cheers. You guys get me first thing in the morning, which is my best time. I'm like Energizer Bunny in the morning, so I'm gonna try to knock this out. It's not that light, but, um, so I'm gonna try to do a cancer reading. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. I just, I'm trying not to have anyone else hear me. So let's see what's going on for cancers for the rest of the month. losing cards here oh my god my friend is gonna be so excited so well okay I, I kind of spoke too soon but um actually it's interesting because the reading that I'm doing for my friend she is a Gemini moon and I did pull the Gemini card but it's also the lovers card so this is a good sign but what I'm seeing is a six of cups so this is the nostalgia reuniting old flame with a lover's card. So it, it, if it's not with a lover's, it could be any kind of past relationship from childhood or the past. But with the lover's, I feel like there's going to be a reunion and a nostalgia regarding an old flame. Now, there is a nine of swords reverse. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to warn you. The feeling I'm getting is... um. At one point you put this relationship to rest, but with reversed, I think you're having, um, you're reconsidering that. So I need to look more into this to see if they're reconsidering it, but I think there is uh, gonna be a revival and a resuscitation of something from the past, is the feeling I'm getting. It's so dark, I'm sorry. What is going on with, so, this person might be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I also feel like they could be in the beginning stages of really trying to be honest with themselves and really like um, gaining more like self-awareness and um, really just kind of in that beginning stage of like illumination on their own self and um, learning how to communicate better and be but they're, they're just in the beginning, so I don't feel like they've really... There is a magician reverse, so I, I do feel this instant inclination that you guys are kind of doubting the power and um, ability you have to really manifest what you want. I'm seeing a page of cups, so this can be you guys, but it also could be another water sign, specifically Pisces. But also I feel like with this message, so we have the lovers, we have the six of cups, which is the um, past card, and we have page of cups, which is like a love message. So some of you may be getting a text message, a call, some sort of communication. I feel like with this knight of swords and page of cups, there's definitely going to be incoming communication. So I would be on the lookout for that. There's definitely gonna be some sort of love message from the past and i don't know if it's with an air sign or we have the divine wisdom and shadow work so you guys have done a lot of this shadow work i think in the meantime after this relationship ended and i don't want you guys to forget all the knowledge that you accumulated in this break that you guys had. So just keep wise, don't get all cancery and emotional and all in your feels and let that wisdom and that um, intuition go out the door. 
I do see a five of cups, so I do feel like someone in this situation, and I feel like it's that other person, but also maybe you had a lot of regrets um, and was looking at all the things that kind of went wrong in that situation, and I do feel like there is someone that wants to make some sort of amends is the feeling I'm getting. Can't take all these 20 cards, so... reversed so I feel like once again I'm getting a Pisces energy but I also feel like that can mean that this period of indecision of someone who wasn't sure what they want is actually kind of yeah because well actually I'm getting the ten of pentacles reversed so this person has been very indecisive about wanting like the whole deal like they've been I feel like kind of non-committal They've been very, um, like, ego-driven. So, um, I don't... Be careful that this isn't about them just wanting to conquer. Don't... Don't sleep with them, is the feeling I'm getting. If they come back, make sure it's, like, because they genuinely care and they're not just trying to get some ego feed. And, um, this high priestess... So, like I said, make sure you guys are connecting to your intuition and don't let your cancerian feelings go for a ride just really try to use your your um your intuition on this the lover's card just kind of popped up again too so i definitely feel like some of you um wow and we got the hangman reversed again so i do when i see two of the same cards in a reading it's just really big confirmation so um I do feel like a decision is going to be made. This, like, period of um, ambiguity is definitely going to be over. So, um... What else is going on for cancer? It's, like, a lot of... Um, like, a pretty clear message. Two of Cups, so this is a soulmate card, so there's definitely, wow. Two of Cups and Ace of Cups, so there's definitely a twin flame, a soulmate that you're reuniting with. And I kind of feel like it's a water sign, but um, there's definitely a definite love situation coming. I just want you guys to be very smart about this and don't get carried away with your feelings. Like seriously, that's the message I'm getting. Even if you feel really strongly, do not let them feel like this is something they were conquered. Like, be ch be a challenge, be hard to get. Even if you feel completely in love with this person, just really try to keep yourself um, controlled. Because this Four of Pentacles is showing me that there is sort of a lack of control. So, Four of Pentacles upright is very controlled, but reverse, I'm definitely getting this message that you guys need to keep your emotions in control with this time because you're getting another chance and i feel like if you some of you might be dealing with a fire sign this is of aries sagittarius or leo so um or but it also can be telling me to be very much more like the queen of wands not so much like the queen of cups that you are so make sure that you are keeping this like air of mystery this like magnetism this confidence this passion but don't let yourself get so emotional and then with this I feel like um in a way you see this person as someone that could save you but you really need to be careful not to let them don't show them all your cards and don't um don't give in to that feeling so I got a really clear message for you cancer